And I arrive, and there is indeed a flag about this location. Ether House, I hope you don't mind the Taurus charging through. Never mind. So yes, we have Bright Yingos with us. And oh, so there's How. I haven't seen your face in a while. Dragonite. Uh, that's the first. Lily, what happened to Lily? Thanks, How. Several hours earlier. Very nice, like, flashback effect shader things. You people. Yeah. The tall tales. About, um... So, uh... Lily was sent out into battle? Lily used, like, double slap? I don't know. So was that a yes? Ah, uh, that's different. Gladian! Yeah, apparently. Wait, what? Alright, I guess we're doing a battle. I'm very okay with this. Um, again, battle equals experience, ideally. Not all of the Team Skull Grunt Battles... I like that Rage animation. Uh, not all of the Team Skull Grunt Battles equaled experience, but never mind. So you're gonna send out a Gold Bat, which is not the greatest for experience, but it's better than a Z-Bat, I guess. Uh, Amazonian! I was expecting to have to fight What's-His-Face again, uh, Guzman. So I sent out somebody who is four times res resistant to bug, but it looks like, um... Hmm. Toxic. Just just because I can poison poison types. Because of my ability. Um, so anyway, Golbat has been poisoned. And at the very least, I don't know exactly... I was gonna say I don't know exactly what you can do to me, but that's actually quite scary. Um, so let's go and... Uh, hmm, let's go switch into somebody who can take that a little bit better. I'm guessing... Do I want to sack off Skarmory? I don't really want to sack off Skarmory, and in any event, Skarmory is like 50 levels lower than... Well, Skarmory is 12 levels lower than that gold bat, so I don't know if it'll be taking an acrobatics that nicely. Grilady! How much more HP? You have twice you have more than twice as much HP as Skarmory does. So that'll make up for the uh the resistant hit thing. As well as my 3 disc battery battery light is on. Where is my charging wire? My desk is a mess of wires. Alright, I'm sorry that you have to put up with me, like, going and charging my 3DS, like, every single video. Maybe a little less often than that. But, um... Yeah, I try not to have it plugged in, so that the battery life doesn't decrease even faster than usual or anything. Um... Yeah. Like, a damage roll would have had you take be taken down from the poison. Um... Yeah, I try not to leave my 3DS plugged in all the time, but that that does kind of mean that the light goes on kind of often. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be looking for somebody... I don't really want to leave Grey Lady in to take this hit. Um, I guess uh, I bought Super Potions, which is only 60 HP of Restoration. I did not buy any Hyper Potions. Uh, that'll bring me up to 90 HP. Uh, 90 HP even, which should... Help me take this a little bit better than I did the first time. No, not really. Actually, I think I came off uh, a little bit worse than that, actually. Uh, so Golbat's been hurt by poison, and two of my team is going to get experience from this. Amazonian gained experience. Sneasel is up next. Alright, I know what to do with Sneasel. Um, one size fits all for pretty much anything that is a uh, fighting uh, dark and ice type. Sneasel and probably Weavile when I get around to fighting those. Uh, Sneasel! <coughs> When I fought you in a regular trainer battle a little while ago, you did not fare too well. And I have no reason to think that you'll fare too well this time. Yeah, Metal Claw's like a 5 hit KO. Alright, good game, Sneasel. That was a lot easier than fighting the, uh, Golbat. So, Hagger gained experience. Not a lot of experience, mind you. That's another Titan all. What are you? Are you normal or ghost? I can't remember. Um... I wanna say normal. 
You're gonna use Crush Claw, which is further encouraging my theory of normal. Alright, so you're gonna be taking damage from, uh, from fighting. So you're not a ghost, it's super effective, which, uh, which does help out my theory that you're, uh, whatever. Uh, uh, just normal, not ghost. So, in next is going to be, I think, um, immune to, to normal type, Crush Claw. There's gonna be Noches, my starter. <coughs> And, oh right, I remember fighting this guy earlier now, because he had the type at uh, that time, too. Same guy. Um, anyway, how heavy are you? Grass Knot? Grass Knot will hopefully do a lot of damage. It does not look like a lightweight, and Grass Knot did indeed do a decent amount of damage there. It's pursuit the best you can do, because that's not even stabbed. I wasn't even running. That might have KO'd me if it was stabbed if, and if I was running, but fortunately for you, neither of those conditions are true. So type null is going down. I like how you have an axe on your head. Oh, yay, level. I was initially expecting Notes to evolve at level 36, because it's like twice level 18 or whatever evolved the first time, I think. Um, you have a very odd slash in your sweater. Why are you wearing a sweater in Hawaii, anyway? Um... The Fairy Terminal. Alright, yes I am. And the Abominable Snowman turns around. Let's, uh, let's get out of here as quickly as possible. So... Hmm. Are we automatic? Oh, we're automatically gonna leave. I feel like there weren't all that many island trails on this island. As, as many as I was expecting anyway, due to it being bigger than the other islands. Um... Yes, yeah, so we are waiting for Hal. He'll show up. He's a pretty interesting kid, indeed. Alright, so, uh, oh, it's Flip Flop Guy. Officer Nanu! Po Town, yeah, well... You there. Are you an island kahuna? You look like you haven't had sleep in about a week. Um, I do want to heal first. Alright, good. He's not actually going home. Um, yeah, I do want to heal first. Where is... Oh, I am healed. That's nice. <clears throat> so, in that case, I don't know what kind of Pokemon he's going to be throwing out. But, I guess I'll lead with Amazonian because Toxic. Um, shouldn't I be... Hang on, let me have a look at the map. Rotom, stop, stop fooling around. I want to have a look at the map. No! Alright, so the geothermal power plant is here, and it doesn't look like it's connected to anything. Wait, is it? I kind of want to fly over to uh, to this area where the cursor is now and see if I can access the geothermal power plant from the other side. Um, what is this? Is this a desert? Have I been here before? I don't think I've been here before either. Was this one of those areas that was gated off? From progress. Um, Alright, before I go... I'm going to, uh, can I fly here, or do I have to actually summon Charizard to do that? I'm gonna have to summon Charizard. Alright, so Route 13, or whatever number it was, and Mount Kilowa, or whatever that was called, still doesn't have anything interesting for me. And it looks like this is gated off. Oh, I have! Can I come through here now? Because I have beaten that trial. Yes, the Ghost DMZ. I like how the things that the, uh... <clears throat> I like how the things that the trial captains give you are both functional and, um... And basically the equivalence of the gym badges, it's like they let you through uh, to different areas, and those are they, that was going to try and run me down. Alright, now, more encounters. Trap Inch! Yay, I meant to go back to the Pokemon Center after that last battle, but I caught, but I got caught in one of those like chasing you down encounters. And um, I guess I'm okay with that. So Trap Inch, um, Payback I think is going to be doing the least damage to you. Which is something that I want, because I am six levels stronger than this thing. Uh, good, you stayed in the green, you're going to use Dig on a flying type, because that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna be buffed up by Sandstorm. Unless you have, like, some ability, like, No Guard or something, which I doubt. Yeah, Trap and Void of the attack, it doesn't affect me, that turn was pretty... ...boring, to be completely honest. Uh, let's do that again. Because I should be able to, um... Should be able to not take you down with Payback. Excellent! Grey Lady, also not affected by Earth Power. Um, that's, uh, way to go, Trappinch. 
God love the random AI. So we're going to be throwing a Pokeball. And the Pokeball is going to be shaking once, twice, three times. Thank you very much, Trampinch has been caught. And uh, as usual, do I want to use this thing on my team? I don't have a ground type, and dragons are always good. I've been wanting to use another uh, another Alola Pokemon on my team. But I'm considering using the Trapinch all of a sudden. You know what? I want to use a Flygon. I've never used a Flygon in game. We're doing this. Uh, yes, I would like to use tra to give Trapinch a nickname. What does this remind me of? So it's not the strongest association, but um, Professor Trelawney was always kind of described as looking like a giant insect. And uh, Vibrava and Flygon are based on dragonflies. And I guess Trapinch is based on the dragonflies like Larva or something. So um, conveniently enough, the genders are matching. And uh, Trelawney is going to be added to my party instead of Skarmory. Sorry, Ian. Uh, but you have served me fairly well when it comes to Death Fodder. Oh my god, I am so nice to my friends. So anyway, get away from me. I'm going back to the Pokemon Center. Alolan Dug Trio. <clears throat> is this worth my time catching? I guess I'll make this worth my time catching. Um, I'm sure this thing is very fast. I don't know what type it is. Um, I'm gonna guess that x might not take you down because you are fully evolved. You're gonna use Earth Power. Perfect. Actually, not perfect. That, wow. For a neutral hit, that didn't do a lot of damage. And, all right, it looks like I can actually use that again. Uh, come on, do Earth Power or something similarly stupid. x -Scissor. I guess I am several levels above this thing. Ooh. You know what? That did about as much damage as... Uh, uh so you have Sand Veil for your ability. Um, uh, Sucker Punch did about as much damage as x -Scissor did. I should be okay. I'm gonna switch out after this. Good, you're able to hit this time. And, um... That is, that is perfect. I couldn't really hope for any better damage than that. Um, no, I don't want to throw a Pokeball quite yet. I want to switch out into somebody who's immune to ground. Um, Amazonian is definitely not immune to ground. Uh, let's go and bring in this guy. Aragog. No, um, Noches. So we're going to be sending in Noches. And hopefully you don't have any, like, running move or... Oh, I forgot. I'm not immune to ground. I lost my flying type when I evolved. Um... So we're going to be buffeted by the Sandstorm. Um, Sucker Punch won't be able to hit because I'm not attacking. What, since when do I have Repeat Ball? Okay, so I did buy a bunch of Ultra Balls, and hopefully... This will have a better catch rate than the regular Pokeballs. Which I would like, because I don't feel like sitting here forever trying to catch these things. Two. Three. Excellent. First try. Uh, Alolan Dug Trio has been caught. Um, so this should fill in the Diglett line. And, as usual... Gained experience as usual. I don't really feel like uh, naming this thing or adding it to my party. Yes, excellent. Filled in a page. Rotom, I don't want to hear it. Sandile, this is the third time I'm running into one of these because I kind of accidentally took it down the first two times. Um, please do not use Swagger because what happened the last time. Okay, so you're going to use Embargo, that's fine. Uh, what happened the last time is you used Swagger, I managed to hit you with Acrobatics, and it did double damage because my attack was doubled, and um, it ended up taking this thing down, which is not really a desirable outcome. Um, Crunch is going to be doing not very effective damage, so let's hit it with that. You're going to use Crunch yourself. Hopefully I'll survive that. <clears throat> and my defense has been lower, but hopefully that won't matter because I should be catching you on this turn. Ooh, perfect. Again, perfect. Um, you're going to do that. Don't appear, don't appear, don't appear, don't appear, don't appear. Screw you two. Alright, thank you. So, ordinarily I would just chuck a regular Pokeball, but I really don't want to go through that again. You know, screw it, I'm going to chuck a regular Pokeball. I want to get rid of these things. I'm going to buy a bunch of them before I go and fight legendary Pokemon, I'm sure, but... Whatever. Two. Three. Thank you very much, I don't have to go through that anymore. Also, this thing does have the Moxie ability, so its attack keeps going up as it keeps KOing my party members. Anyway, Haggard has gained experience, and, um... Alright, Sandile's data has been added to the Pokedex. I don't know if it's possible to find a Crooked Rock or a Crooked Dial in this area, but... I'm not gonna be looking very hard. 